glad you're here. We're going to start off with another member of the family, the canine part of your clan. Cindy Ludwig runs Canine Connection in Dubuque and is here to show us what she says I think is a different method of training. You have a name for it, Cindy, for your training? What I do is called clicker training. Clicker training. You make the little the little yes. noise? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've seen that before, I think. Yeah. So it's a little plastic box mm -hmm. and you just click. Oh, I hear that. To let the dog know when they did the correct thing. When they did the correct thing, not yeah. when they did the wrong correct. thing. Correct, that's, right. that's what, right. What makes it different in, in other ways? How do you approach dogs? Well, we look for what the dog does right versus looking for mistakes. So we build behaviors based on uh, what we like that the dog does, and we set the dog up for success. So in clicker training, we do not correct the dog, but we set the dog up for success. And you do rewards as well. Rewards. I, I know you have your little treat pouch, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to see some of you with, with, with the dog here in a little bit. But I wanted to ask you about, I love dogs. I mm have -hmm. always loved dogs, and I grew up with them, but I don't have one now because I'm not home enough. Do you think that's a good, a good excuse for not having a Definitely. dog? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, it's good for the dog. Because the dogs don't like to be alone? No, they're social animals. Mm -hmm. They like to be with people and other animals. So if they just, if they have a buddy, does that help? It helps, mm -hmm. but it's still, they still like to be with people. Okay, well, no, no, we have the, the video of you at work here. Now, is that your dog? Uh, that's a service dog that I was retraining. Okay, uh, so, so tell me what you're doing there and explain to us how it's different from what we may be used to. Well, in this, uh, this video clip here, this dog had come to me for retraining because she had become unmanageable. And I was correcting bad habits, but I'm doing that with uh, strictly reward-based training. So There's I your am, treat pouch you're yeah, reaching into. Okay. Giving her food. I would follow each click. I don't know if I've got a, I probably have a clicker there. Now, how does she know to lay down right there? I think I told her to lay down. And yeah. Okay. Does she know you well enough to know yes. your commands? Yes. Yes. Okay. But when you were you help other people train their own dogs? Yes. Yes. How do you train people to do that? Well, using a lot of the same methods. With the clicker? Well, I do. With the clicker and the treats? I can Here, use have an ice cream cone. Yeah, no. yeah. Well, reward, praise. Uh -huh. And so I tend not to criticize my students. So I find things that they do right, and I recognize those. I also have a form of clicker training for people. You do? And it's called tag teaching. Yes. How do you do that? It's a similar uh, mechanism. I use a, a clicker that has a different sound that when I'll tell the individual, uh, I want to see when you're walking with your dog. I want to see that left hand at your waist. The walk is very important, isn't it? Yes. When you walk your dog. Mm -hmm. where, where do we make the most mistakes with dogs? Um, where do we make the most mistakes? Well, you know, when you, when you see a, a, an owner with a new dog, uh -huh. where are they messing up most often? Um, well, several things. One thing I see a lot of is people repeating commands. And uh, mm. I don't use commands. I use cues, which are opportunities for reinforcement versus commands which are orders. Cindy, let's talk about this. What's okay. going on here? This is, uh, I think, that same dog that I am teaching to open a commercial door using a device which helps her uh, pull the door open and then she has to have the right body position so she doesn't injure herself. Um, hmm. I'm simulating a person in a wheelchair uh, so I attach the device to the door, then she pulls back on the mm -hmm. door, opens it, and then I tell her to go through. You do a lot of service dog training? Um, yeah, a fair amount. Mm -hmm. How about this one? This is one of my own dogs. Uh, she's actually a therapy dog, which is different than a service dog. They go to visit people in nursing homes and so forth. And I'm just doing a little uh, uh, cueing to have her touch my... Uh, my and what's that about? Why do you want her to touch your leg? Just for fun. Just for fun. And I can of also course. Teach her, teach her to <laughs> teach her. It just stimulates their mind, and I can also teach her then to march hmm. with her paws. No, wh what most of us should get dog obedience or dog dog training for what reason, Cindy? Because dogs aren't born knowing what our expectations of uh, of them are. They don't normally uh, heal. They don't normally come to you unless they want something. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't know that they should sit to meet people. Hmm. They want to jump up and say hi. Yes, they do. Because otherwise, how do they get to your face? <laughs> because they want to lick the face. Yeah. And, and you're saying well, you don't ever like to go 
against a dog's natural uh, being. Right. But sometimes you have to civilize them. Right, 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 right. So what I do is I take that, that, that dog's natural tendencies and I redirect it into something constructive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Canine Connection, you have all the information there at the bottom of the screen. DubuqueDogTraining.com is where you can get a hold of Cindy. You can call the number there as well. You have all kinds of classes mm -hmm. and, and ways for us to connect. Because I know you want us to uh, be better family members with our dogs mm -hmm. and make, their, make our dogs fit in better with with the people so yeah. we can all have this circle of love yeah right <laughs> yeah, that's right Cindy, that's it's right. great to meet you to come back and bring your dogs okay how's that sound that sounds great excellent thank, thank you so much thank you very much from dog